just about the top. is an important part of the process, but let's start at the beginning. Live from tropical areas all over the world, process sending the cocoa beans to eating machines, like the one on your right. Hershey's quality standards are of utmost importance, but and only the beans are clean and free. Are they dead on for With the beans blended, they're then set ahead to be roasted in large refined. Beans are then ready to move on to the next stage of the process, a process that will begin to transform plain cocoa beans. At the breaking chamber, where the shells are shattered, the part of the bean actually used to make chocolate. The process generates extreme heat, which melts the meat. This is the liquid from which all chocolate is made. Well, now we come to that all-important element, milk. And who better to tell us about it than the experts themselves? chocolate-making process. Here, milk, sugar, and chocolate liquor are brought together and mixed in just the right proportions to create that special Hershey's test, which results in chocolate crop. The machine up ahead adds cocoa butter. What's that wonderful smell? That's right. After all that shaking, there's still a ways to go before it's finished. On your left is a series of roll refines the chocolate until it reaches a uniform and smooth consistency. Next, as seen on your left, the chocolate is further refined by a unique process called conching. These heavy rollers refine the chocolate for up to 72 hours until it reaches a silver, liquid texture. The material that leaves the conching process is called chocolate paste. These machines supply production lines with over 1 million pounds of chocolate paste per day. The Hershey's Chocolate Bar. The bowl. The final step before being wrapped. Chocolate made to perfection, we then add peanuts, olives, and other extras to create a world of wonderful chocolate treats. The automated wrapping machine, putting the finishing touch. Hershey's Chocolate Factory is a world unto itself.